Hey there, everybody. This is Ira, and I am back in Vintage Story. I have not loaded up the game world yet because I'm starting a new one, and I wanted to talk to y'all a little bit before we jump in. I know that I'm a, a, a .2 versions behind, but I looked at the update logs, and it seemed like there wasn't really anything um, between this one and those ones that will affect me right now, so I'm kind of holding off on updating because he's kind of releasing um, updates pretty frequently right now, so I'm going to wait until it stabilizes a little bit. So, this is version 1.11. The last video series I did was on 1.10. And 1.11 has got some new stuff that I wanted to show you before we even get into the game. Uh, if we go into the single player, you can see all my game worlds here. This is the world we will be playing. Oh, look at that. Look at that tooltip. I'm not going to fully create a new world here, but I just wanted to show you one of the big updates in this version is customization and world gen. So, you can use Survival Creative, Realistic or Patchy Climate Distribution. It can change the world size, can change whether you can fall off the edge of the world. Um, temperature, precipitation, microblock chiseling can now be toggled, so I toggled that on for my world. You can change the death punishment, and I changed it to keep inventory, because I'm not playing this to get punished, I'm playing this uh, for a specific challenge, which we'll see in a minute. I've changed it to 10 days before monsters appear. Basically, most of these things have changed to make them easier. Creature hostility I set to passive, which should mean, uh, unless there's bugs, that monsters or uh, creatures will not attack you unless provoked. That includes wolves and stuff. So that gives me a little bit of less anxiety while I'm playing. If I want to get into combat, I can and they'll fight back. But if I set that to passive, I'm not going to have to worry about wolves, you know, pouncing on me. I set the creature strength very low because I'm a wussy. I set my player health points very high. I set the hunger rate to 25%, the slowest that is available, and there's a reason for that, which you will see very soon. I turned up the walk speed to slightly faster. I set it so that soil also falls with block gravity, because I just think that's nice and I like it. I think I left food spoilage alone. I increased tool durability and mining speed up to the maximum, and I increased the frequency of both copper and tin deposits. So I'm not going to create a new world now. I just wanted to show you all those options that are in there now, and it uh, is great. Basically, the only things that I have had to tweak in order, you know, I usually make my set of tweaks each time I play the game, and the only thing that I've had to tweak now with all of these options is um, I've increased the burn time of all the different types of fuel, and I've increased the, li the lifespan of torches before they burn out. I think that might be all that I changed, actually. Oh, and firewood. I, I also changed it so that you get more firewood per, uh, per log of wood. And yeah, I think that's all I had to change. I think everything else I'm pretty satisfied with, which is really cool, because usually I have to go through and change a lot of different stuff, so this helped a lot. So I've only got 1 minute and 35 seconds in this world. There's all of the uh, world stats there. If you want to take a look, you can pause the video and take a look at that. Um, we need to get moving as soon as I jump in here, because this is the desert challenge that I've set. So we've got a hot, arid world, and that means that pretty much everything around me is desert. The challenge, of course, will be how do we survive? How do we not starve to death living in the desert, right? Um, and I have done a few test worlds. This is one of them. I did several different test worlds to try to find one where it is possible to find dirt. It is possible to find... Uh, there's actually plenty of trees around, which is interesting. They grow out of the sand. Uh, obviously, the game was not designed for this sort of thing, by the way. So some of it's going to be a little bit wonky and strange. But it's, it's going to be fine. Don't worry, my friends. Don't worry. Trust me. Trust me. <laughs> what could possibly go wrong? Um, but, uh, basically the challenge will be to find enough food to survive. That's why I turned hunger way down, is because it, it goes fast. And since we're not going to be able to rely on things probably like berry bushes, um, we might not even be able to rely on animals, since in the deserts, uh, in most of the places, even, even hyenas don't spawn, right? Like, we're gonna, we're gonna be struggling to find enough food to survive. So I set the hunger speed all the way down, and, um, well, we'll see how it goes. I'm gonna jump in. And I'm going to pick a direction, take a quick look around. Uh, oh, by the way, I don't think I've shown you folks this in a long time. This is updated and it shows these kind of little bits of kind of poetry, really, sort of, when you load up the world, which I think is really nice. Uh, it used to show exactly what it was doing when it was loading the world, which I also liked and maybe even liked a little bit better. But um, yeah, so I jumped in the world just to make sure if we open the map. We've got desert, as far as we can see, in all directions. However, it should, theoretically, there should be some parts that have uh, soil and have plants and stuff like that. So basically, uh, I did jump on. You always start with a torch, and I did give myself a single papyrus, because I'm not sure if I'm going to encounter that or not. And 
I want this to be challenging, but I don't want it to be impossible, right? So if I have a single papyrus, then eventually I should be able to... I guess we're going north. <laughs> eventually I should be able to... Um, to build up enough uh, reeds. Papyrus, by the way, if you don't know what I'm talking about, it's a new plant that's been added in this version, which basically functions like... There we go. Oh, I got saguaro fruit. We do have a trader here. NPC trader, hello. What kind of trader are you? What you got? What you got? Guild? You got food. Oh, that's good. So if I can find some gears, I can come back here. Let me go ahead and type uh, waypoint add yellow is the one I usually use for traders. And this is food trader. That is good to know about because if I can find some gears, you know, that's going to be a source of food. Grab some flint. Oh, I don't have any sticks yet to make tools. I don't want to veer too far off of a northerly course here. I will, I will swerve a little bit to grab a little bits of flint. Uh, so my plan, essentially, I do know that theoretically there must be some dirt in this world. And I know that there are definitely um, ruins. So I'm not sure what the odds are of me finding actual... Uh, like plants and things like that are, but I do know that ruins can sometimes contain seeds. So my plan, and there's a ruin right up there. There's one right up there. Ooh, there's bones. Uh, my plan is find some dirt, or uh, you can also find dirt by by digging in the ruins if you get real desperate. And I don't know if I even want to raid the ruins other than maybe for some tools. Oh gosh, it's so slow. What, what we got? Farming. Hmm. Do I want to break that now? Do I want to break that now? This is this is the trouble, because my inventory, I'm not going to be able to make any storage for probably a long time unless I get incredibly lucky. So farming, often it gives you feathers. I think they can give you seeds sometimes. I think what I'm going to do for now is uh, just mark the ruins as I find them unless I find a tool or food urn. I don't want to spend all day digging this up, because look, my hunger is already going down. I don't have any source of food aside from a single piece of saguaro fruit, right? So, I'm gonna be careful. There's more ruins up there. And even the food, um, I'm also gonna peek, peek briefly into any caves and see if we see any, uh, ruins down there. Um, no. So, yeah, even the food ones usually just give you grain. And grain gives you almost no saturation by itself. So without finding some clay, which I definitely don't see anywhere around here. We got bauxite again. I still want bauxite bricks, folks. If anyone wants to make them for me, I'll find a way to reward you. We'll work something out. Oh, oh, it's quarrel. It's food. What we got over here? I don't want to have to dig up a lot of ruins. Kind of hoping to find, like, exposed... Oh, there's one. Forage. Forage is good, because forage could contain reeds, actually. Yes, it does contain reeds. It does. What we got? Is that enough for a basket? Oh, it is. Okay, first bit of storage, folks. First bit of storage. I don't think I need these rocks. I think I'm just going to go ahead and, and chuck them right now. Where did they go? Ooh, I'm going to lag. Um, I feel like there's likely to be at least one more urn in, a, in a, a ruin this big. I don't know if I'm wasting my time and my limited saturation on my hunger. Am I making a mistake here, folks? <laughs> I kind of, like, I want to walk until... I feel like I want to walk until I find... I mean, what am I trying to find, right? I want to walk until I find a spot that looks habitable, I suppose. Oh, I think I'm wasting my saturation here. I think I am. All right, there might be more here. Just... I don't know why I'm bothering to put that back down. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to do the same thing. We'll do uh, waypoint, add, white, ruin. Wait, one last thing, because I feel like this structure looks like it might have a basement. So if I just happen to find one real quick, you can get really useful stuff in a basement. Um, yeah, maybe not. All right, let's, le let's leave it. Let's leave it. I can't do this with every ruin I find. Where we go? North, north. Um... <laughs> Don't, I don't need the rocks. I don't need these ones either. My very limited inventory space. Goodness gracious. I think jumping will also eat my saturation, just like in Minecraft. We got up here. We got, I do want to check the map every now and then. See if I smell any, any soil on the breeze. Not yet. Nothing yet. Okay. 
I think part of this is gonna be luck, right? It's gonna be luck whether I find um, an area with a food source or not. Do also notice though, no, no animals, right? No hyenas, not even hyenas. Usually I feel like when I go through the desert I do find hyenas, but no hyenas. So, yeah. Uh, we're basically, we're gonna have to look for an oasis. We gotta look for an oasis. You know, legend, legend tells that the Earth was not always this way. And some people speak of a far-off land where the soil is fertile and there are bunny rabbits and laughing dogs and, I don't know, maybe wolves? I don't know, maybe we'll get super lucky and we'll find a big enough area that it'll spawn in, like, some, um... Like some some pigs or some chickens maybe? Oh man, just think of that. Of course, ideally, I'd like to find some ruins that have seeds. Because, gosh, still. Oh, wait, wait, wait. There's a patch of green over there. Patch of green over there. Going east. We're going east, friends. We're doing it. Um. Lose a track of thought. I'm so hungry. I'm so thirsty. There's plenty of water everywhere. It's it's interesting when you when you mark the world as dry and arid, it doesn't affect the generation of, of uh, pools of water and lakes and things like that. So there's plenty of water everywhere. Just just no soil. And for some reason, oh wait, wait, I'm walking right past all these, but we got sticks here. Yeah, grab those sticks. And as you've seen, there are a few trees here and there. This is pretty much what I've. Oh, I'm gonna birch sapling. Interesting. Oh, that's pretty over there. We got a little waterfall coming over. What, what direction was that in? Okay. Oh, we got, oh, we got, okay, wait. I'm gonna head for this one. I'm gonna head for this one. I see, like, flowers. All right, we'll stop over here. Stop over here, because it's closer. Music has stopped, which is it's upsetting. We have not found any more sources of food. We got my two saguaro fruits. Now you see why I set the hunger decay so low. Now it's all coming together, it's all making sense. How far away was this? There it is. Oh, it's just a little patch of grass. That is literally just a patch of grass. All right, it was... Let's head up to where I saw purple, because that'll be flowers. Flowers are good. So, resources that we're going to need to find. Obviously, we're going to need to find seeds. Ooh, there's, um, resin on that tree. Okay, no, limited inventory space. Resin is another new thing, folks. We can make armor using resin and, like, pieces of wood and stuff. I haven't actually tried to do it yet. I did actually play around on another, uh, world for a little while, and I had it kind of the opposite. I set the... It's not a berry bush, is it? No, it's just birch, branchy leaves. Give me that stick. Um, I set the humidity high because, I, as far as I can tell, higher humidity means just kind of a richer, brighter green color grass. And that was really all I cared about. I just wanted to have a nicer color of grass. Get anything here? Anything obvious? No, nothing obvious. Come back later. Um, oh, look at this! <gasps> oasis! We found an oasis! Is there gonna be food here, though, is the question. Remember, it is still very dry. So even though there's dirt here, which is awesome, <gasps> berries! We've got berries. Folks, we have berries. This is good. This is good stuff. Um, do we have any reeds or papyrus? Oh, I don't think I finished explaining what the papyrus was. Uh, papyrus is basically like reeds, but they grow in hot tropical biomes. That's why I thought it'd be more appropriate to bring one of those. Rather than uh, bringing a, a cattail. So I just have the one. So if we don't find... Oh, look at this. This hair. This is nice. This is actually really pretty. Hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, there's more water up here. <gasps> we got we got pools of water all around. Come up here. What am I doing? I shouldn't be running. Don't run. Ira, don't run. Conserve your energy. Kinda like is that is that acacia? No, that's pine. That's pine. Okay. Where there's acacia, there may be bees, folks. Oh, I like this. I like we got like one, two, there's one down here too, right? Three, right down here, there's like, yes, yeah, three. There's like three or four little tiers of water. Oh, I like this. This is a good spot. This is actually a really nice spot. This is beautiful. I do need to take a walk around this area. How much green do we have around here? Oh, we've got quite a bit. <gasps> Look at all this. 
All right, so I need to take a walk around. I need to look for one, clay. Clay is important. Um, I need to look for uh, copper as as usual, right? As usual, and I and also tin if we can find tin. I'm gonna hold on. I'm gonna put a waypoint. I'd like this spot right here, surrounded by my pools. So we're gonna put a waypoint. Add a blue home. I think this is home, folks. I think this is home. So if I don't find any reeds, I will place this papyrus. Uh, if we do find some, I'll get rid of it. I don't want to cheat. I'm not trying to make it easier. I just, um, without any reeds, you can't really do much, right? So we need to get a few. So let's just kind of do a little circle of this lake, I guess. This is real. Look, there's butterflies here. This is beautiful. I'm so happy. Folks, we did it. <laughs> that was easy. We did it. No, that's not true. We didn't do it yet. Um, we found a source of water and dirt. We found a few berry bushes. We'll see how many berry bushes there actually are, though. Keeping in mind that a berry does not give you very much saturation. And uh, I need to see if we have any clay here. Without clay, we can't do any cooking and we can't do any metalsmithing, right? Clay, very important. We've got, we've got a cave here. Oh, this is really pretty, too. <gasps> oh, no. We've got a sand roof. We must be very careful not to disturb anything. Alright, it's very dark in there. We'll come and check this out later. Anyone who's ever played Minecraft where there was a p bit of sand over over a, a cave like that and you touch one piece of it and it all collapses and you die. You suffocate and you die. Um, I feel like I saw more berries. Where was that? Was that over here? Did I walk past them? Was I hallucinating them? This is possible. This is entirely possible. Alright, I don't think there are berries here. Can we go, this, like, this whole sort of lake has, yeah, it's got a little bit of green around the edge. And then, of course, there's this area up here, which we obviously also need to investigate. This is wonderful! Oh, this is such a good find. Oh, man. Uh, by the way, I will bring up the seed there. There's the seed. Pause the video if you want the seed. Uh, if somebody reminds me... Claystone, nice. If somebody reminds me if you want me to uh, put the seed in the description of the video, leave a comment and remind me because I probably will forget to do that and I will uh, copy that into the video description as well. So any of you who want to play along with me in this world can do so. I have I have been told that sometimes people like to do that and that's just fine with me. You can come along for this journey with me. Uh, but if you do that, I do ask you, please, please, please do not spoilers, all right? No spoilers, please. Oh, <gasps> Clay! Clay, 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 yes! Uh, even if you find, you know, a, a better area than this, don't tell me about it. Just, just let me figure this out on my own as I go. Alright, I'm, I am gonna pick up some of this clay right now. Um, let's even, let's even, make a shovel. We'll do a little napping right here. Not, not the kind where we lie down and have a sleep, even though sometimes those are real important too. Nothing wrong with having a nap every once in a while. This is a nap with a K. It's a knap. Doing a little canapping. Okay, do that and we'll just get some clay. And you will see it is quite fast and the tools last for quite a while. And that is no longer a mod. That is now vanilla gameplay with world generation options. Unfortunately, it does not appear that you can change them after creating the world, however, which I think is a shame. I don't want to pick up more than a stack, actually. Let's be careful here. Careful, we don't- okay, maybe one more. Come on. Oh, I got a little bit- I'm getting a little bit of frame lag here, I'm not sure why. Not even frame lag, I'm just getting a little bit of lag. We'll stop. Okay, I'm gonna eat these two berries. I still don't see any reeds or, um, or papyrus anywhere. So, I may- I may need my one- my one piece of papyrus. Keeping in mind, you know, for any of you who are, who are thinking, that's really unfair, you shouldn't do that. Just keep in mind, it takes a while for that one piece of papyrus to grow back, and you need a lot of reeds to do anything of use. So, it would take a really long time for it to really matter. I am checking all the stones for ore as well. Should be able to find copper pretty easily. Uh, we do need 40 copper nuggets to make... to, to get started with uh, proper metal mining, because we need 20 to make the pick. And then we need another 20 to make a hammer to break the bits of ore that we dig up with the pick. Hold on, this little peninsula over here. Actually, it's not really quite a peninsula, is it? Those little pauses. Yeah, it was like a little little set of... Oh, this, all this, all this, all this. Oh, this is so nice! I'm happy. I'm happy, you guys. I'm so happy. It's so beautiful. So we've got clay. 
at least enough clay to, to keep us sorted for a while here. We've got a handful of berry bushes, which I will probably have to pick up and move. Actually, if, I think if I pick them up when they are... I won't do it yet. I'll wait till I have a bit of storage. And actually, once we get some fire going, there's berries over there too. I want to pick all the... Do I want to pick all the berries? No, I don't want to pick all the berries because food will spoil. Especially since we're in a hot biome, actually, food will spoil really fast, right? These will, these will last for a couple days. Maybe the dryness allows them to stay fresh for longer? I'm not sure. This is all so beautiful. I don't know, should I move over here instead, where there's more open, kind of open space? I just, I really like the view in that spot. That spot over there, it's really beautiful. Um, not, see, not seeing any sources of reeds. Not seeing any sources of reeds at all. We'll go down to this side, and then we'll go up north again. There's more clay here. That's good. It's good to know about. Good to be aware of. Oh, wow. This was easier than I thought it was going to be, I'll be honest with you. <laughs> well, so far. So far. There's still plenty of time for me to starve if we run out of berries, right? It takes four days for them to grow back. Actually, I think it takes eight days for them to grow back. What's over here? Is this a cave? This is a cave. Is there a convenient ruin located directly in the inside of this cave? It does not appear to be. Not visible from the outside, anyway. Okay. Lots of caves to explore later. We can do that later. So, we've got clay. Got some berries. We do need to find some seeds to plant to start growing proper crops, right? And we need to find... Um, we need to find copper so that we can make... Some proper tools. I haven't actually seen copper yet. I probably have walked by a bunch of it, right? It's recording blindness. You're all familiar with streamer blindness from when I do my streams. And if you don't know, I do streams now. I stream on Wednesdays and Saturdays. Check out, check out, uh, check out my streams. Was that tin right there? <laughs> I think that's tin. I do believe, I do believe. That's, oh no, it's lead. Poor quality lead. Oh, here's some copper. Okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, uh, waypoint, add red. I got a color coding system that I've been using for a while. Where are we here? All right, so this isn't quite as impressive as it looks. Is this possibly a ruin right here? We really need to go and explore more ruins and try to find some, uh, try to find some seeds. Because the sooner we can start farming, the better. Because, you know, this is all nice and all. But we don't have any actual plants growing here, other than a few berries. There's more copper here. Hopefully I'll remember this is... very close proximity to the other. Oh wait, what's... is this... It's Haylight! Folks, we get salt! We get salt right here. If only I could find some meat. <laughs> we could salt the meat. Actually, what else is... what else is salt used for? Is it just... oh my goodness. No, no, no. Salt. Is it just for... Ingredient for meat, 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 and brine. Oh, that's right. This is used for pickling things as well. Okay, sweet. So that is going to be important. That's awesome that we found that here. Um, let's maybe waypoint add red halite. So red is for ores. Blue is for home bases and things like that. Uh, white is for ruins. And yellow is for NPC traders. That's my current system. Am I going out into the desert again? What are we doing here? I am a little bit going out into the desert. I think these are ruins. So actually, that's fine. Let's go Let's go and find those ruins. Let's check them out. I should probably make a knife and collect some water over here. I am keeping an eye out for anything that will create reeds, but it doesn't look like we have any around here. Oh, there's some more dirt here. There's mushrooms over here. There's mushrooms. And there's blueberries. Ooh, I love blueberries. Oh, you guys, I love blueberries. I love blueberries so much. Okay, well, these are Amanitas, so these are... These are not actually what we're after, by any stretch of the imagination. We do have more copper here. Get that, get that way pointed up. There we go. I don't want to pick up all the copper and stuff yet, because I have such limited inventory. I've got such limited inventory. All right, we do have blueberries here. Um, I think I'll leave them for the moment. I've got enough food to kind of probably keep me going, as long as I don't do anything crazy for a little while. Man, I can't believe we found Haylight just like that. The last game save that I played, I searched far and wide. 
I searched for hours and hours and hours on end without being able to find halite. And this is just, just where we happen to set up shop. Yeah, oh, by the way, here's some halite. Enjoy. Just enjoy that. Where are we heading here? Straight ahead. Straight ahead. Yeah, oh, there it is. If I'd have gone two more steps, I would have seen it. Oh, we got more berries. This is incredible. This is definitely when I, when I, uh, oh, I didn't plant this birch. Let's plant it right here. Plant this birch sapling right there. Uh, when I was exploring worlds like this, uh, I was, it was taking me a lot longer. All right, I've got a shovel now. So let's, we can do a bit of digging. Let's see if we can get lucky and find some seeds or at least some food. I do not have anything to mine with though. So when we hit stone, that's it. We're stuck. Oh, what we got? What we got? Food. So this is probably going to be, uh, this is probably going to be grain. Yeah, it's always grain. Problem with grain is you need a quern to make it into flour, so I can't bake bread until I've got metal processing going. It's probably not gonna be for a little while. And I am gonna dig up the dirt here just to check for a basement. Um, and I mean, I can I can make porridge, but I, I need to make some clay pots and stuff like that to make porridge, so. More halite. Oh my gosh. That is that is true, actually. In desert areas, halite is supposed to be more common, like just under the surface. So we're going to be in good shape as far as pickling goes as soon as we have crops to pickle. Right now, we don't have anything that we can pickle. That's the problem that we're faced with at this very moment. Wow, this is actually quite a big ruin. More of my, my shovel's going to break pretty soon. All I've got is this useless sand. Toss it out. Oh, look at that. We've got another pot. Well, we got farming. Okay. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to toss out this, this, and... Oh, no, wait. Not the rye. <laughs> Dang it. Okay. We're going to toss out this, this, and these. Probably going to eat the saguaro fruit. I'm going to have to hoover up all this stuff. Toss that again. There we go. All right, just I gotta keep this inventory free. Oh, we've got more reeds. Okay, that was, I'm glad I did that. That was worth doing. Can I make? I can. Just enough to make a second basket. Sweet. And I've got a little bit of flax as well. Awesome. Okay. Um. Are we gonna have anything else here, or? I think this is actually two ruins next to each other, isn't it? I do kind of want to dig all the way around, especially since I just found that one. Okay. This is riveting stuff here, folks. I only make the top, top quality content here when Ira plays games. Because I'm Ira, and I do play games. All right, this one is, is all looted, I think. We've got another one up here. This looks like it might be one down here. I don't want to wander too far. On the other hand, I should probably wander as much as I need to here at the start before we have any any monsters. More copper here. To come pick all these little nuggets up later when I got more storage space. Um, so I have set this to passive, but I haven't actually tested this version well enough to know if that passivity only applies to animals or if it also applies to the monsters, like the drifters that come out. I do get 10 days. I gave myself 10 days of the grace period at the start. So I have plenty of time to kind of get settled, get situated. Still no reeds. Oh, right there, there it is. Um, I am gonna go back and plant this papyrus, I think, at that little home area that I have chosen for myself. Because so I do think it is warranted. And I think I'm gonna need it go. Hopefully we'll find... I don't know if it's a preset. What if any... Oh! There goes my shovel. Dang it. Ugh! Let's make another one. <laughs> Let's just make another one. Um, yeah, I don't know if the loot, loot things are preset. I feel like I've noticed the same ones being in the same places previously, but I'm not 100% I'm not sure about that. So, I certainly haven't memorized where there would be a loot thing in this little wall segment, even though I have seen this ruin many times before. I'm not sure where to look for 
the loot. I do think there is loot in this ruin somewhere. That's stone. I cannot dig through stone with a stone shovel. It just doesn't work that way, folks. Don't try to do it. It's not gonna work. Save your effort. Ooh, we got gravel here. Is this the end? I think this is the end. This does appear to be the end. Alright, no loot over here. Oh, I hope this does have some loot. I feel like I feel like I remember finding some loot in this type of thing before, but maybe it's not preset. Maybe there's just a chance. <gasps> As I say that, food! More food. Alright, we got inventory space. What we got? I just... There we go. Uh, we've got flax grain. Okay, so yeah, it is. it does always seem to be grain. Should I keep looking? Is there gonna be more? Seems like a small ruin. I feel like maybe... Maybe I'm pushing it. Maybe I'm just wasting my time and my energy and the durability of my poor shovel. But I gotta know! I gotta check. Gotta check. Alright, I can't really go any further anyway. How are we doing? Let's look at the map. What do we got up here? I feel like I'm running out of time already. Have I already been going for nearly half an hour, folks? That is just bananas. Um, I'm gonna go probably until morning at least. I don't see any other ruins nearby, so I'm gonna head back. We can do a little pit stop. I have some clay now. I can make a clay vessel for storage. Why am I climbing this mountain? I don't know. I don't know why I do the things I do. Don't ask questions like that, folks. Don't worry about it. We'll get it sorted out soon enough. Um, I do love this sky. Well, it's cloudy up here, but that, that sky, that's the sky I'm talking about. It's beautiful. It's a gorgeous sky. Get that in Minecraft. Nuh-uh. No, sir. So, uh, we'll head back. I'm going to make, uh, probably a clay vessel so that I can store some stuff. I think you can store anything in them, although they're designed for preserving food. I think I can put other stuff in there for storage, or at the very least I can put berries and stuff in there, and I can bury them. I can bury... I can bury the berries. Bury the berries. I can take the berries and bury them. Oh my god, I'm losing my mind already. It's only been a day that I've been in the desert. I'm losing it. Uh, if I bury them underground, then they will last for longer. And then I can go around and harvest the rest of those berries. Um, so that we can get the next batch growing in as soon as possible, because I don't think I'm going to be able to live just on these berries, folks. As, as lucky a start as we've kind of had here. Where am I? What are we doing? We need to go around this little, this little ridge. Oop, more copper. Mark all those down, because you really do need quite a lot to get started. Um... Yeah, I mean, as lucky as it is that I found this little oasis, as you see, there's not actually that much food here. And I do need to eat, or I will starve to death. Even with the hunger speed set low, I do still need to find food and eat it. Uh, I can still starve. What is that? Oh, is that just flint? Yeah, it's just flint. It's just flint. Okay, we don't need flint. I got plenty of flint. We're in the desert. There's rocks everywhere. That's not the problem. That's not the concern that I have. Do I have this marked down already? I do not. Wait. Yes, I do. <laughs> it was under me. I was standing right on top of my own waypoint. Um, I think that's probably going to be... That's going to be the loop to start off with, right? We harvest the berries, we stick the berries in a, a clay pot underground, bury that in soil so that it doesn't get wasted away, and then I'll use some more clay to make some cooking vessels so I can get more nutrition out of the food, because I do believe cooking a food increases the saturation it gives you. And if it doesn't, I mean, what's the point of cooking, right? So of course it must. It must. Surely it does. Um, clay. Lots of clay. Awesome. Awesome. I love, I love having lots of clay. It makes me happy. Uh, and then we'll probably get to get moving with the metal, because we're going to need copper. You can use copper to get a saw, and then we can use wood to build barrels for moving water, for pickling, stuff like that. Um, and then in between, I, I need to go run around and look at all the ruins. Probably go back to those ruins that I passed by before, and I'm sure I'll find lots more, right? Have I? Where is it? It's hard to tell at night. Okay, now it's further this way. <laughs> Everything looks the same in the dark. Yes. Okay. 
And then maybe in the next time around, I'll kind of harvest all the berry bushes. Like, pick up the berry bushes after I have... Yeah, there we go. Right here. Um, okay, so we're going to take this, put this down. Take this, put this down. We're going to have one reed. <laughs> going to have one piece of papyrus. We'll stick it in the water down here. Maybe over here. A little real small area. Stick it right there. Kaboom. There we go. Papyrus. I need a knife. There we go. I need knives. Oh, gosh. It's such a pain making knives. It takes forever. And we'll cut that and get give that time to grow back as well. Eight days left before... Why only eight? Shouldn't it be nine? Goodness gracious. Set it to ten. It was only been the first day gone by. Suspicious it is. It's very suspicious. I don't trust it. Oh my god, my inventory is full! Oh, we finally got some music coming on. Took your time, didn't you, music? I have the frequency turned all the way up, folks. I swear that I do. Throw down all this sand and this gravel I don't need. There we go. That's better. And... There we go. Gotta read. It does still come up as cattails, even though it is definitely... Not cattails. Um, I'm sure they'll they'll touch that up later. I'm not too worried about that. Um, set right here is where my campfire will be, but I have not made an axe or cut down a tree yet. There's a tree right there. Let's do that. Okay, more napping. Love napping. Take a nap every day in the afternoon, pretty much. I get sleepy. What do you want from me? Napping with a K is less fun, but you know. That's what you gotta do until you get metal tools. That's just how it works. Get chip away. All little bits of flint. One pixel at a time. There we are. And then... Eat some berries. Oh, let's, let's not do anything that's gonna waste even the slightest bit of nutrition, right? If I'm near full, let's just leave it at that. I do want to see if I can get a sapling. This might take a while. There are other trees around, but I'll feel better if I have another sapling to plant right away. Resources are scarce. We live in the freaking desert. I mean, this may be an oasis in the desert. It's still a desert. Still got sand all over the place. Sand is sand is getting everywhere. It's all I'm already all of my my tattered clothing is already full of sand. Just totally full of sand. It's, it's not it's not pleasant or comfortable. I'm sorry, I, I'm sorry I have to tell you about that, but it's just, it's just it's a fact of living in the desert. That's just how it goes. Okay, come on, come on. Give me a sapling. I just need one, and then I'm going to cut down this tree. One single sapling, please. I would like one sapling, please. I, I've placed an order for one sapling. I've been waiting for delivery for a long time. Those are branchy leaves. No, not branchy leaves. We want just the regular leaves. No saplings. No saplings anywhere. Just particles. I mean, the particle effects are nice. I'm not complaining about the particles. I just... They're disappointing because what I want is a sapling. I think the sapling drop rate for pine trees must be set a bit low because they grow real big. Perhaps? Well, all this effort and I haven't got a single dang sapling. All right, heck it. I'm just gonna cut down the tree. <laughs> Wasting my effort and energy here. Oh, it's gonna take forever because all of those leaf blocks count as part of the tree, so it's counted as a really big tree, so it takes longer to cut down. Which I think is a little silly. I'm gonna be honest. That's my opinion. Hey, I got a sapling after all. I got several. Multiple saplings. It's the multiple sapling advantage. Let's plant these babies. We are gonna want some more wood. Where is my home spot? Is it up here, yeah? Yeah. Get up here, make a campfire, settle in for the night, and then I'll probably draw this long video to a close. Yeah, I got myself 16 pieces of firewood. What are you gonna do about it? Come on. There we go. Oh, in the brilliant light. I'm gonna sit down. I'm gonna go ahead and waste a bit of wood. Do a little, a little farewell. This is nice. Isn't this nice? I do have smoke in my face, which I don't appreciate. 
<laughs> All right, folks. Uh, thank you so much for watching this new series. Uh, let me know what you think of the premise. Um, if you have tips or ideas, that's cool. If you, uh, again, if you do take the seed and go and generate a world with the same same uh, traits as this one, same settings as this one, and you find better spot or whatever, don't tell me. Let me find it on my own. I, w I will. If I decide that I need help, I will ask. I promise I will ask. Uh, other than that, I'm gonna probably probably uh, do start doing some clay farming, and I'll, I'll check back in with you folks uh, in the next video. So uh, I'll see you then. Bye! Hey there everyone, this is Ira. I just want to thank you all for coming with me on my first steps into the desert. I think we are well prepared for this. Ah, oh. I forgot my still suit. Oh man. I don't suppose any of you guys has a spare, huh? Spare still suit I can borrow. Oh.